Charm City Devils, and I'll be interviewing him with some secret questions. Other than becoming a rock star, what is another changing moment in your life? Oh, geez. There's, there's been many lately. Um, uh, my, my father just passed away, and um, before that, um, my, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, a couple, you know, it's been a, a while now. She's a survivor. She's, you know, she's hanging in there. She's doing really well. So those are, uh, those are very, you know, those are really heavy, defining moments. You know, like, we're starting this interview off on such a high note. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, those are those are pretty heavy things. And, yeah, but those are things that probably inspire you to, um, you know, do do more things in life and. Music yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's real stuff. Everybody goes through it. You know, I, I myself had skin cancer, um, you know, a few years ago. So it kind of it changes your perspective a little bit. And, and uh, I've, I've lived a very fortunate life. I've, I've um, been been really lucky, if that's the term you want to use, blessed um, throughout the years, never having to deal with like the, the real things hitting me for a long time. And it, you know, in the last couple of years, it's caught up with me. And, you know, like, you know, it's, it's just one of those things, you know, life, like, you know, you, you have to just keep, keep rolling on, keep pushing through. And one of the things I say on stage, like, the new the new single, Unstoppable, I send it out to my mom every every show. Because, uh, you know, she's uh, she's trucking through, you know. And, and when I wrote the song, I didn't even realize, like, looking at it now, like, after the first time I did that, the lyrics really apply to her and to, like, just um, being tenacious and, and, and fighting through and, and surviving. Does that happen a lot when you just write music and then you realize that they, you didn't even you didn't even think about this and then here's this all this emotion comes into the song that you didn't Sometimes, even put there. Sometimes, yeah, you're like I'm not really sure where it's coming from. Maybe a subconscious kind of thing. And, and uh, like that song, that song especially. Like I thought, okay, this is about being pushed too far and about rage, but. After I kind of, after we were playing for a little bit, I sat there and I thought about it. I'm like, it really kind of, it, 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 you know, it can be applied and it really is sort of about about her and about, you know, there's never giving up. And, 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 I, and I feel kind of the same way. Like, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I've, I've played drums for years and, and been signed, had deals and lost deals, you know, been through the ringer. And, um, you know, and, and, and a way to, to to vocalize or to put in the lyrics about you know, just don't give up. You know, like I've had low points in my life where I've been severely depressed, and I just try to tell everybody like you know, no matter how bad it gets, you know, just push through. You know, you know like just, just tomorrow. Well, that's the good thing about music because you let everybody else know that it's you know everybody's life is exactly. everybody's life is a little hard. So yeah. you know, not everybody's perfect life. That'd right. be awesome, right? Yeah. <laughs> What is something most people don't know about you? Oh, that, I mean, most people don't even know who the fuck I am. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they, well, probably, now, <laughs> they don't know anything about me, right? I wouldn't <laughs> say that, no. No? Okay. Well, I don't know. There are, there are many things. I, I, I don't know. Do um, you have a hidden talent? No, probably not. No, I have, I'm on the no hidden talent list. <laughs> hidden talent. No. 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 What is the funniest pickup line you've ever used, and did it work? Gosh, I've never used. I don't know if I've ever had any uh, pickup lines. Nothing. You just walk up, and they're like, "Okay, you <laughs> won me over." <laughs> no, no. I'm just a dork, you know. I'm just like, "You're pretty. <laughs> Can I look at you for a little while?" So, so you, you're a joker. You have a fun personality. Uh, I don't know. No? <laughs> Maybe. So I have some Halloween questions, oh. kind of, since we're in the spirit. Right. If you were in a horror movie, what movie would it be? I don't know if you like horror movies, but... You know what? Last night we stayed in a hotel up in Tra uh, Traverse City, or Traverse City, I don't know how you pronounce it. And as soon as we got onto our floor, and I looked down the hall, it looked just like the hallway from The Shining, <laughs> and I was just screaming "Red Rum, Red Rum" the whole time. Like, so that would be the movie. You would be stranded somewhere. Here's Johnny. <laughs> if you were running from zombies with your bandmates, would you be the hero or would you be the tripper? Would you just trip everybody you can and save yourself? That would be. That sounds good. You'd be the tripper. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Have, do you dress up for Halloween? You 
I normally do, yeah, yeah. What is your best costume you've ever had? Even way back when, you don't have nothing recent, it could be whenever. I think there's two. One is I dressed up as a Hare Krishna once, um, but that year it happened to be like 32 degrees. At Halloween I was just wearing a sheet <laughs> and a skinhead wig and uh, froze my nuts off. Um, but then the other year, I dressed up. I had all this styrofoam like blocks in my my parents' house. I made a, a cross out of it, and I actually I had long hair at the time. I was I was Jesus, and we went to this party at this hall. It was like a VFW hall, and I was surprised by how many people got pissed off at that. <laughs> but I did I did some pictures with there was a guy dressed as, as a devil, and I, I did some pictures with him and. And uh, some people who had known me from playing around and like they were just blown away. Not that I was Jesus, but the fact that I was wearing sandals. The guy was like, "He's wearing sandals, man! He should win the the costume contest just for wearing sandals, dude." So that that was and and, and I put I can't grow a beard, so I I used like spirit gum and this polyester beard stuff, and I I, I applied a beard. And after a few cocktails and. The second or third, like, you know, pit beef sandwich I, I had. I went into the bathroom and I looked and, like, half my beard was gone. <laughs> I had been eating it throughout the night because I was so wasted. I was like, so. Or somebody else was eating it and you were just leaving it places. Maybe. <laughs> Another zombie question. If you were bitten by a zombie, would you tell the people that you're with or would you just play the waiting game? Fuck no, I'd eat, eat them. Eat their brains, <laughs> Okay, right? so you play the waiting game. You're trying to just kill everybody. Yeah. Way off line. Do you like tan lines on women? I do, actually, yeah. yeah. And would this woman be a redhead, a brunette, or a blonde? Um, all of the above. All of the yeah, I, I, I don't discriminate. <laughs> so a mixture of all colors of the hair. Like so did you guys enjoy playing here? I mean, I was excited when you guys were here the last time. I couldn't wait. And yeah. I, a lot of people coming here just to see you guys, actually. Yeah, I love Fort Wayne been very good to us, you know, and, uh, you guys have been great to us. Yeah, I was, I was hoping, I'm like, I better get that interview. That's cool. <laughs> thank you, thank you for thank letting you. me interview, and thank you for guys for playing here. Thank you, thank you very much.